Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros. I've been creating a lot of content around buying and flipping PCs for a profit, and honestly, it has been a ton of fun. And because of that, I've been getting a ton of questions about things to look for when flipping a PC for a profit. And in this video, I'm gonna be going down a list of some go-to computer cases for taking that pre-built tower that you bought on sale on eBay and giving it a good makeover and making it much more presentable to a potential buyer. So, how about we get right into it after a word from today's sponsor. As a creator, creating content is almost second nature. Once the idea hits my mind, I almost go into autopilot doing scripting, recording, and editing until it's complete. However, getting it seen on the crowded space that is YouTube is a whole other challenge. With TubeBuddy though, you get access to a wide range of tools like tag optimizers and search ranking results to help you optimize your content to succeed on YouTube. Want to give it a shot? Click the link down below to learn more. Now before I get into this, yes, I have used all the cases before in a previous build, whether on the channel or off the channel, and I'll be giving you a quick and dirty review of it along with current pricing. First up is the Cooler Master Q300L. This is a micro ATX cube case that retails for regularly $40 on most sites like Amazon and Newegg. This case may look very familiar to you because it is the one that I actually used in my free PC build series that I made last month. If you hit the eye in the top right corner, you can check that video out. I really love this case, mainly for its unique fan filter design that kind of has a textured pattern to it and the small form factor design. With the rise of PC gaming, LAN parties have been making a comeback, and this case being as portable as it is really makes it a good LAN party option, and somebody who likes to go to their friend's house and play games, this would be much more valuable to them. Now this case is micro ATX, so you will need to make sure that the pre-built tower that you have has a motherboard that is, well, micro ATX. Most of the Dell Optiplex systems come with micro ATX motherboards, so the fit should be relatively easy to achieve. The one thing that I wish this case had though is some sort of case lighting because it has this wide open acrylic side panel with no LED fan or anything inside it. But a simple fix would be a cheap LED strip or buying a cheap LED fan to add to the case, probably an extra 10 or 15 bucks. Now you probably guessed it, the next two cases are actually from the same brand, DIY PC. Yeah, we love the cases that they offer. We're not sponsored by them, but you know, if you wanna work with us, reach out to us, we'd love to work with you. The first one is a DIY PC Vision 2-BL, and this case is a crazy value for the money. It comes with a tempered glass side panel, four blue LED fans, and all at a price point of $46 a majority of the time. We have used this case in other budget builds in the past, and it delivers a really, really sexy looking case while not breaking the bank at all. However, most OEM motherboards won't come with enough fan headers for this case, so you have to keep that in mind. You may need to buy either a cheap fan hub with this or deal with running them on strictly Molex power, which honestly is not that bad. We've used this case a lot and actually use Molex power majority of the time and the fans are actually not that loud under full load. Now you might be thinking the airflow in this case is a little bit suspect, but if you're using a budget PC using older hardware, it really won't hinder performance that much considering what you're putting into it. Lastly, we have another DIY PC case, and this one is the cheapest of the bunch, coming in at $30. That is the DIY BG01. This case looks a lot like something you would get from a company like Fractal Design, and also comes with three fans, one being a blue LED fan that is used as an exhaust, and two in the front. The build quality of this case is, well, plastic, and it does not offer anything super extravagant like the other case, but for the price, you're getting a really good case. The whole point of this video is to suggest budget cases that add value compared to your system being in its default pre-built tower. Most people are looking for performance, and if they are new to PC gaming, will honestly tend to lean much more towards the one that looks the best, and no matter how clean it is, any of these cases would look a lot better than it being in its pre-built tower. That's just the fact. If you see bright LEDs or tempered glass, it's gonna sell much more, and especially if you can get these cases at a cheap cost, it's well worth the overhead. So overall, these are my three go-to options, and if you have any any others, comment them down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Also, while you're down there, leave a like if you like this video and comment DIY PC in the comment section down below if you made it this far. Also, if you aren't already, consider subscribing and buying one of these cases using some of our affiliate links in the description down below. Using these affiliate links help us do more content on this channel by giving us a small kickback and allows us to invest back into creating better content for you all. Stay tuned for our next video where I actually take a deep dive into what are the best pre-built towers that you can buy on eBay, Gumtree, or any other used site 
to make the most returns in a flip. If you want to see that video, be sure you're subscribed and have bell notifications turned on to know when that video goes live. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.